I haven't watched Slings and Arrows. What? I know what it is. I know all about it, but I've never watched it. I haven't watched Grease. You haven't watched Grease? The movie Grease? <laughs> you what? haven't watched the movie Grease with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. I have not watched the movie Grease with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. I'm so, it's like I don't even know either of you. <laughs> Speaking of actors, do we have a actor with us today a founding member of soul pepper oh, also been at stratford shaw the citadel victoria playhouse manitoba theater center factory nightwood she's been nominated five times for a door award she won twice one for stratford tansy <laughs> and one for the miracle worker she's got 62 credits on Ooh. her imdb page she played ellen fanshaw in slings and arrows she won two gemini's for that remedy murdoch republic of doyle do South, ENG, Street Legal, Traders. Yeah, I'm so happy to introduce Martha Burns. Yay! Wow. So good to see you, Martha. Wow. And I first remember you when you were played Trafford Tansy. Yes. That was the first show that I did in Toronto. It was so good. It was on a wrestling ring. She had to wrestle the whole friggin' play. We were training the way wrestlers train, but packed into this four to six week period. What was the moment when you were young that made you head in this direction? I have such a good answer for that. I remember being like seven years old, watched The Miracle Worker, thinking, I want to do that. I want to tell that story. Your very first credit oh, is a TV fine. series from the CBC called Backstretch. <laughs> I couldn't find the clip that you're in, but luckily you made the trailer. <gasps> Sunday, Backstretch. Ronnie could lose his livelihood and his girl. <laughs> I think this is it. Backstretch. Backstretch. Oh my God, that's hilarious. That was 1983. Second season of that, I had done Trafford Tansy and I came back with a completely different physique because my neck muscles were all built up. My first scene of the day and having the producers freak and pull me out and put a different blouse on me because I looked like a wrestler. Probably what most people know you for is slings and arrows. That's some joke your friend played, giving you an exotic animal as a pet. Sounds like a jerk. Well, he's dead now, so, ha ha. <laughs> Tell no, us about love... Slings and Arrows and how that happened. Susan Klein is a really good friend of mine. And so she was working on this show. She started working with Mark and then with Bob. I never thought that I would be in it. I was doing theater. <laughs> the fact that I was asked to be in it was so m mind blowing. We got one more clip. We're all in this together. Your mother is Catherine Parker. My mom. Any news on her condition? This must be the most bizarre story. The barrel actually saved her life. No, but people always want to run away from me, my darling. <laughs> Katie yeah. is an up and coming director. How did you like working with her? Yeah. She's just so wonderful as a director, was so clear, just so respectful. So do you have anything coming up? I've got two plays. One is in December and one will be February, March. And I guess I can't say anything. Both directors are these really wonderful young women who I have wanted to work with. Martha Burns, thank you so much thank for spending you. time. Thank you so much. This has been really fun and just so hilarious to see those clips. Bye. Bye. So many of us, particularly it's... women, stand on her shoulders. She's so also a very good man. Mentor. She really works with a lot of young women, so looking after those who are coming after her. Yeah. We'll watch Grease, Slings and Arrows, and we'll play ABBA through all of it. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, this is like my perfect day! Share. Like. Comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh my god, we still can't...